So the Spark Editor has been out for about a month and a half now, and there have already been several new tool updates and releases. So this tutorial is going to go through and just kind of touch on a lot of them and how you might find each of them useful. I apologize in advance. For some reason, my video encoder is making the cursors for a lot of the tools black. Um, I don't know what's going on, but hopefully it won't be too much of a hindrance that you can't follow along. So starting out with uh, some of the new ways to select things in your levels. Um, patch 127 added the ability to use paint selection and it's pretty easy to use. You just hold down shift while you're in the selection tool and anything you move over while in that mode will be selected. Then in build 130 uh, we were given two very incredibly useful tools. Uh, first of all you can now double click on any face and anything that is welded to that face will then be selected. Uh, incredibly useful tool. Uh, another big addition in patch 130 is selection filters. Uh, there's now these six little boxes down here. Um, say for instance I want to only select edges on my object, I can go down and turn off vertices and faces. And then if I drag select, only edges are going to be selected there. A couple examples of how this can be useful. Uh, it's a lot more viable to work in 2D views now because say uh, you want to move uh, just one face on the side of some geometry, you can just uh, go into points only, select those points, move them, there you go. Or say you're starting to put a lot of detail into a level and it's uh, you know really starting to chug and bog down your system. Uh, say you want to hide all the props, you can just go down here, filter for props and entities only, drag select, uh, open up the layers window and just add them to a new layer just right like that and you can hide them uh, make your workflow a little faster uh, one other th little thing to note uh, the way that control drag select uh, works has been changed around a little bit it used to be you could only control drag select to add to the current selection uh, recently it's been changed so that if you control drag select and there's something already selected it deselects it and then if there's nothing selected, it adds to selection. So it either adds or removes. Uh, there is a problem where it gets a little problematic if you are selecting props and geometry at the same time, though. So I would recommend that uh, if you're going to be using this, you uh, filter your selections using the new selection filters. OK, so moving on to uh, improvements to the manipulation tools in Spark. Uh, there's now three different ways that you can copy elements in your level. There's the uh, tried and true, edit copy, edit paste, uh, and makes a copy. Uh, there's also a new uh, entry in the edit menu just called the duplicate selection, which does the exact same thing, but it's only a single hotkey stroke if you set up a hotkey for that. Uh, my users might be familiar with that sort of thing. Um, you can also hold shift when you're in the move tool, and that will make a duplicate duplicate of whatever you have selected. Uh, the only problem with that is that uh, shift also puts you in free mode so it's not quite as useful yet but it's on the way there. Also new a much requested feature you can now mirror your selections uh, using the flip selection options in the edit menu flip Y, flip Z, flip X just like that. The extrude tool now has the ability to extrude edges as well as faces. Uh, this is another much requested feature. Um, you just click on an edge and drag it out. The little yellow line shows you the direction that it's going to go. Uh, it's based on whatever edges or whatever faces are attached to that edge. So if you have a uh, edge in a face like that, it'll just drag out perpendicularly. Or if you have an edge that's just on the edge of a face, you can drag it out um, parallel to uh, the existing face. Uh, another much requested feature is vertex welding, which is now in. Uh, the way this works is you can take two separate pieces of geometry that are similar enough, you line them up and select just the vertices. You go edit, weld vertices, and what it does is it turns those objects basically into one object. You can now select just one of the vertexes and it affects uh, all of those faces that it's attached to. Uh, grab the face and move it and the other faces will adjust. There's still a small issue in that it only welds vertices not edges as some people may have noticed um, but in the meantime it's a great feature to have. And one last feature which uh, should be added today in patch 132 um, another much needed feature 
Uh, you may have encountered this where if you are selecting something that isn't exactly on the grid, say uh, one of the edges is uh, an odd length and so it doesn't quite come to your current grid size or uh, you have a prop selected that is uh, off the grid or something. Uh, as soon as you move it, because the gizmo is centered, suddenly all of your edges go off the grid. Uh, well, there's a new way to fix that. What you do is you can press your less than or greater than keys on your keyboard and it will cycle the gizmo around the corners of your selection as opposed to just the center. Uh, the command is called Selection Origin Cycle in the Edit menu. Uh, it works in the 3D view as well. It'll cycle around all eight corners of the bounding box of your selection. So that's all the features and new tools that were added to the Spark Editor uh, between builds 127 and 132. Development is continuing on the editor, so uh, keep the comments and the suggestions coming in the forums. And as always, if you do not yet have access to the Spark Editor, you can get it by pre-ordering Natural Selection 2, just naturalselection2.com.